all the guys we've talked about so far, whether you're talking about Ron Holland, Stefan Castle, or uh, Dalton Connect, those are my three guys that I've been nine. Those are the guys that I'm running to the podium to get. But old Chip Williams, there's another guy that we got to talk about. Okay. <laughs> if you'd ask me this question 48 hours ago, I would have been like, get the hell out of my face. My good friend, uh, Leon Taylor, uh, put a put an immediate tweet after we got the ninth pick of the draft and said, if I'm the Grizzlies, I'm taking – uh, Zach Eady at nine, right? I said, hey, man, stick to stick to Tiger basketball, man. He's a Tiger basketball <laughs> reporter. I told him, hey, man, stick to Tiger basketball. There's no way you take this dude at nine, right? With every hour that passes, I'm looking harder and harder than Zach Eady, man. I, I fell down a rabbit hole on YouTube. I'm looking at interviews. I'm looking at documentaries. I'm looking at <laughs> highlights. I'm looking at all this stuff, right? I, I'm looking at the Trey Draper uh, uh, relationship they he, he played for him when he was at uh, IMG Academy and Yep. All these type of things, but I'm like, crap, man. Like this dude. Then I'm like, okay, there's another huge, another huge man in this in the middle. Memphis has loved every single one of them that has come through here, whether it's Marcus Hall, whether it's Jonas Valanciunas, whether it's uh Steven Adams. We've loved every every huge guy that's came through here at the center position, right? So I'm like, all right, bro. Like this, it feels like this is it's got momentum to him. And then my guy Drew Hill, he's in Chicago, right? He's He's down there at the combine. And he he's down there asking the man questions like, you know, have you have you talked to Memphis? <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, Memphis is Memphis has shown some interest in me, man. I like Memphis. I'm like, damn it, man, damn it, bro. Like, I just <laughs> I can't shake this this seven foot five monster of a man, right? Tell me, Chip Williams, am I okay? Are you okay with me coming turning around and saying, hey, I would not be I'm not be messed up about having Zach Eady on this team, or are you here to talk me off the ledge? No, I look, so it's funny. I, I was texting a buddy of mine, uh, I don't know, maybe a week and a half ago, and I, I started to do the same thing you did, right? I started to watch a little bit more. I started to look at the numbers, and everything about Zach Eady screams outlier. Like, there's mm-hmm. something a little bit different about him. I mean, mm-hmm. people just aren't this dominant in college basketball the way this guy was. Yeah. And so I texted my buddy, and I said, man – I've got some bad news. Like, I think I'm going to have to put out a tweet telling everybody that I'm kind of in on Zach now. Because, <laughs> all right, I think once you get past, he's not going to be a superstar, right? Like, we're not looking yeah. at, like, Yao Ming or something, the, yeah. the reincarnation of Tom, right? But if, if all he does is he's a screener, which I think he's one of the best screeners to come in the draft in several years, rebounding, mm-hmm. he's an elite rebounder just based off the size. Um right. And then his conditioning, like he has outlier elite conditioning. He was playing well over 30 minutes every single mm-hmm. night for Purdue, and he's touching the ball almost every possession. Yep. So he's able to stay on the floor. That's not a problem. That's a legitimate question with Donovan Klingon, but it's not legitimate. Mm-hmm. So if all if that's your three things he's got right there, that's an NBA player. That's a rotation big man when yep. he's 7'4 without shoes on with a 7'11 wingspan. I mean, the guy can almost just grab the rim standing, you know, barefoot. Um, and then you throw in, all right, he's, he can already score over everybody who's smaller than him. We watched him do it, you know, for four, however many years at Purdue. Um, and I think he can improve his footwork and his counter moves a lot in the post. Then mm-hmm. I, I start to buy it more and more. I think the key for him is going to be the passing because they, we're not just going to throw the guy on the low block and get him 15 post-ups. Every no, game. it ain't happening. It's just, it ain't happening, no. right? So he's going to have to pass the ball when he's a screener on the short roll, stuff like that. But, you know, the defense, obviously, he's not going to be a switch guy. He's going to be a drop guy. I think you're still going to have a hard time hunting him just because of the size, and they're going to keep him close to the basket. Is he going to get played off the floor some? I'm sure. I'm sure that'll happen. But I dare you to try to switch a smaller defender on Zach Eady and watch what happens. It's going to be an automatic two points every time. He's going to, he's, he's going to want the ball and he's switch. going to make you pay. But that's his, exactly. his natural instinct is to pound dudes. Oh, well, pause. No Diddy, no Grizzly, no Jizzy, <laughs> no Drizzy. But, uh, but I, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Yeah, his, his natural instinct is to pound the ball. And, well, it's to score in the paint. So, yeah, it, that's, that's his natural instinct, yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. Right, another thing, another thing, Chip, he can close. If, if, he's, if he's holding his own on the defensive end, right, he can close games because he's like a 70-something percent free throw shooter. Exactly. Exactly. Dang. The touch is real. He's got real touch, man. All right, so, Chip. With your, all right, Chip. With your tough ass. Let me say that. Let me see. Let's see how tough you are on this easy thing. 
those three guys we just talked about, Ron Holland, Dalton Connect, uh, Stefan Castle, one of those dudes are going to be there at nine. Yeah. Will you look those, one of those three guys in the eye and say, no, I'm not picking you. I'm about to draft Zach Eden. Did not. I'm not. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I can't do it. That's, the, that's just, where I'm at too, man. I'm taking the swing on the wing, man. Like, uh, we can go back and say that the Zaire pick was terrible, but mm-hmm. they basically made the same pick at a much, you know, much lower risk at 45 with Gigi Jackson. What they did is they drafted a guy who's taller than 6'8", who is very well coordinated and who shows good touch on his shot. It didn't work with Zaire, but I think you just keep taking as many swings like that as you can. Because if a couple, two, three of them pay off, then you may have two or three Gigi Jacksons running around right. this team with, you know, Ja, Bain, Jaron. So that's where I am. I just think you can find a similar player to Zach Eady either later in the draft or for not much, you know, as, in terms of cost in free agency or in a trade. 